Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to use DDU to clean up your Windows drivers for your graphics card. This is the AMD version. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video we're going to show you how to clean up your Windows system to uh, remove your AMD drivers if you're having problems or maybe if you're switching card from maybe you've got an Nvidia card and you're trading up to an AMD card or whatever the case may be, this is a really good way of cleaning up those Windows drivers to try and get rid of some of those niggling problems that happen. So let's go straight over to the PC and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so on our Windows 10 PC, this is running Windows 10 version 2004, which is the current version as of the end of September 2020. And what we're going to do is go straight into the internet, so launch your internet browser of choice. I'll be using Chrome for this particular version, but it is uh, very similar either way. So all you want to do is go to nvidia.com for your NVIDIA drivers, and we'll go to amd.com for our AMD drivers after. Now obviously, depending on which graphics card you've got, you only need to get one of these. But I'm just going to show you both just so you know how to do it. So find the drivers tab at the top and choose GeForce drivers. And from this section, you can choose your particular version. So we want product type. Ours is a GeForce. We're using a 1650 Super for this. And also for the AMD side of things, we'll be using an RX 570. So in our product series, just choose the one which is suitable for you. So ours is the 16 series. And we are on a 1650 Super. And we're on Windows 10 64-bit. Obviously, choose whichever version you need. I think most of you will probably be Windows 10 64-bit. Choose your language and then hit start. And then if you scroll down, you'll have your driver results. So we'll go for the latest one, which is the GeForce Game Ready driver, and it's supported by Microsoft. So click on Get Download, and then click on Download Now, and choose somewhere to save it. Now, as you can see, I've already saved it, so to save myself time for the video, obviously just choose your location. I'm gonna choose the Download section, and then just click Save, and then you can wait for the download to finish. So I'll cancel that for this, because for I've obviously done that. The next one is amd.com. And essentially we're doing the same thing, so drivers and support. And then you wanna choose our products. So we're doing graphics, and we are a Radeon RX 570. So we're going to the 500 series, which is there. RX 500 series, and ours is an RX 570. Obviously choose the one which is specific to your particular graphics card. And then we've got the same sort of deal, so Windows 64-bit edition. Click on the plus there to expand it. And the latest version is this one there, the Adrenaline 2020 edition, 29.1. And we'll hit download. Get rid of those. And basically you can uh, download it to the same place. So this PC, we we'll choose downloads. And as you can see, I've already downloaded it to save time. But in your case, just click on save and wait for the download to finish. So that's our drivers sorted. Now what we need is a program to actually remove the existing drivers. So in the search bar, just type in DDU and hit enter. And I generally tend to use the DDU from Guru3D. So we'll click on this one. Obviously choose whichever one you want to, but just make sure it goes to the right place. If you follow the links in the video description, you shouldn't have any problems at all. So this is the Display Driver Uninstaller, or DDU for short. And this is basically a program for cleaning out graphics drivers for both AMD, NVIDIA, and also Intel. We we'll scroll down through and get to the mirrors, so I'm in the United Kingdom, so I'll choose the download mirror from the EU, United Kingdom. Then you get all the bump there, the license agreement, etc. Just wait a little while until the DDU option comes up, and it downloads initially as a compressed zip folder. So we're going to stick it in the same place, which is this PC, then downloads. So all you need to do is click on save, and as you can see that's downloading. It doesn't take very long to do. So then what you can do is you can either click on your Explorer, or just click on the up arrow if you're using Chrome, and then choose Show in Folder. And here is our Guru3D download, the ddu.zip. So first of all, right click and choose Extract All, because we want to expand the program. And you can just leave the destination exactly the same. You can change it if you want to, just make sure you know where it's going to, and hit Extract. This gives us our extracted folders, so we've now got the DDU, so we're gonna double click on that one. And it'll give you this self-extracting archive notification. Again, just click on Extract. And there we go, so now we've got our DDU folder. So to make things easy, I'm gonna delete the guru3d.com folder and also the DDU EXE. So this leaves us with just one folder. Makes life a little bit easier. So 
Now in the DDU folder, you've got various options there. You've got the license, readme, etc. But the one that we're more concerned with at this time is the display driver uninstaller. Now really, you should be running this in safe mode. That is entirely optional. If you want to do this in safe mode, all you need to do is shut down your PC, hold the shift key whilst you press on the start button. When it comes up to the power button, click on power, hold the shift key and press shut down and then that will reboot you into safe mode. For some of you who may need to do this, uh, me personally, I generally do it within the Windows environment and it seems to work quite well. So right click on displaydriveruninstaller.exe and choose run as administrator and you'll get the user account control notification. So we'll just click yes and the program itself will come up. First of all, you'll be notified with this. This is the first time you're launching it, etc. And as per usual, you should do all the things that it say there. So make a backup, read the license, read me and terms of service, etc. And it says that we're not responsible for any damage, loss of data or any kind. And we are always willing to help if there's a problem. So if you do get any issues, you can contact DDU directly and get any help with the program itself. Or alternately, you can join our Discord, which will be flashing up now. So you can join us and we can discuss any issues you may have. So once we've read that and understood it all, click OK. And we get our general options to start with. Now, more times than not, you can just leave this as it is, but feel free to have a read through and see uh, what works for you, etc., etc. There are other options, one of which is the advanced option to prevent downloads of drivers from Windows Update and Windows to search for a new device. That can be helpful, but in this case, we're going to end up actually removing our LAN cable. Obviously, if you're connected wirelessly, then just disable wireless when told to. So once you've read through that, click on close. And it says there, DDU has detected you're not in safe mode. For a better cleanup without issues, it is recommended that you reboot into safe mode. So obviously, if you want to do that, feel free to go ahead and do that. But we're going to carry on in the Windows environment. So now we've got the display driver uninstaller and we've got a load of options here. And first of all, when it does the log, it will actually detect what is in your system. And you may find when you look in your log, you may have other graphics cards detected, which means there are other graphics cards. Actually, the system is trying to initialize or is knowledgeable about. So what we need to do now is to select the device type. So we're on GPU, so we'll try GPU. And now we can change the options between AMD, Nvidia or Intel. Now my suggestion would be to remove all of them. So what we're going to do is we'll choose Nvidia first of all, and then we'll choose clean and do not restart. Now the reason behind this is because we actually want to go through and choose some more options after. You can if you want to, if you've only got an NVIDIA driver and you're going to AMD, you can choose the option of clean and shut down, etc. because you just want to get rid of it and then swap out a card. So if you are swapping a graphics card, this is the way to do it. So choose the card that you've got currently. So in this particular instance, I've got an AMD one. And say for instance, I wanted to put in a NVIDIA card. I would now click on clean and shut down and then install the new NVIDIA graphics card after it's finished the process. But we're going to clean all of the systems. So let's uh, we'll start with AMD then. So clean and do not, actually we've got an AMD graphics card installed, so we probably best do that one last so it doesn't try to upload any new drivers. So if you've got an AMD card, do that one last. So NVIDIA first of all, so clean and do not restart, hit that. And then we can just watch it go through its process. When it's done, we'll get a notification. So I'll fast forward through this to save time. Okay, so that's finished. So now it says the the clean's done and it's all completed. Would you like to exit now? So we're gonna go no, because we wanna carry on doing more things. So now we'll do Intel. You may not need to do this. If you've got an Intel processor or Intel system, this is entirely optional, but I'm gonna do the same. So clean and do not restart. Again, I'll fast forward through this to uh, save some time. And at the end, it comes up with the clean and install completed. Would you like to exit now? So we're gonna choose no. And last of all, we're gonna do our AMD card because that is what we've currently have installed. Obviously, like I said before, if you're doing this and you've got an Nvidia card, then do the Nvidia one last. If you've got an AMD card, do that one last. If you've got an Intel card on its own, then obviously do the Intel one last. But basically, whatever card you have currently installed, that is the GPU inside your machine of this very moment, do that one last. So at this point now, we're going to disconnect our LAN cable or remove any Wi-Fi or turn off Wi-Fi. So literally, I'm just going to go to the back of the PC and disconnect the LAN cable. As you can possibly see now, at the bottom, we've got no internet connection, so it says not connected, so this is perfect. So we've got AMD selected, and we will do clean and shut down. You can if you want to, obviously do clean and do not restart. The choice is entirely up to you, depending on what you're doing. If you're swapping a graphics card, then ideally you want to do the shutdown so you can put the new graphics card in. If you're just fault-finding drivers, 
then uh, a restart would be fine. As with most programs, it is entirely your choice what you do. This is going to clean it regardless, it's just uh, you may need to repeat the process if Windows tries to update your drivers. But because we've disconnected the LAN cable or turned off our Wi-Fi as appropriate, then it won't try and do the automatic update from the Windows update. So now it's done what it needs to do and it's shutting down. So now we can turn the PC back on. So now we've got our Windows computer back up and running, we're logged in and if we right click onto the start button and then choose device manager. You can then choose what your display adapter is. You should have it saying Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. If you've left your LAN cable connected, you may find that this already is updated to the default driver, but ideally you want this to say Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. So now what we can do is go into our downloads folder and go into our appropriate driver. So again, this is a AMD based system, so we can install this. So double click on the Windows 10 Radeon. It will say you something about smart screen cannot be reached and just choose to run. And then we can follow through the installation process. Now at this point, what you can do, if you don't want to install the Adrenaline software, but you do actually want the drivers, just make a note of where this is going to, the destination folder. And actually what you can do to make life a little bit easier, if you just change it, so we'll do C four slash AMD driver, and then click install. Now the reason we've actually done that is because what you can do is you can actually tell Windows where the driver is. So if you are having issues with the adrenaline software causing issues with your system, you don't actually have to install the full suite. So if you don't want to use the things like the Relive and all the fan monitoring and all those kinds of things, or it is causing problems, then you can just install the drivers themselves, which. Uh, We'll briefly touch on in a moment when this is finished extracting. But what this is currently doing, this is unzipping the folder or the file that we've downloaded, the actual driver itself. And when this is done, we'll go into that folder and I'll show you where the information and the drivers actually are located. So at this point now, the Radeon software is initializing itself and detecting your system configuration, as it says at the bottom there. So at this point, what you can do is you can choose two options. You can choose to cancel and install the driver manually or you can choose install to do it automatically. Now, if you choose cancel, what you can do is if you go back into device manager, so right click on start, choose device manager, go into display adapters and Microsoft basic display adapter, highlight it, right click and choose update driver. At this point, you can choose browse my computer for drivers. So we can click on that then you can browse the computer. So if we go down and find the folder we created just now, so in our local disk C, and we made that new folder called AMD driver. And what we can do is we can just choose that, click OK, and it should find your driver. You may find that it may be located in one of those bin folders, but generally, if you just tell it to use the AMD driver folder, it will find the driver automatically. Obviously, if you do choose to do it this way, do click on cancel. It won't actually destroy any of the files which have been extracted already, but it will stop the installation process. So if you do want to do it manually, that is a good way of doing it. But I actually do want to use the AMD software. So we're going to click cancel there and just choose install. Now, as it says, your display may flicker during install because it's updating the drivers. This will take a little time to go through. And again, make sure at this point that you are not connected to the internet so that Windows does not try to automatically update your driver from its list of known drivers. As you can see in the bottom corner still, we've still got the not connected notification. So there we go, we've had our flickering, so that means the graphics driver is now installed, and it says now, welcome to the AMD Radeon software, and it's going on and in installing other things like updates for the USB, etc. You may find your mouse and keyboard, maybe go a little bit wonky. This is due to the drivers and the way they work. So once everything's working, you can then click on finish or you can click on restart. But for our particular needs, we're not going to do that. We'll just click on finish. And essentially that is us pretty much done. So that is how to reinstall your AMD driver on your AMD system, either manually via device manager or automatically via the adrenaline software. So there you go. There is how to use the DDU software to remove your existing NVIDIA, Intel or AMD drivers and then to install a fresh set of drivers from either AMD, NVIDIA or Intel. 
Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, give the video a like. And if you've got any comments or questions, feel free to put them in the section below. If you need a little bit more help or you're still struggling after this, please do join us on our Discord. Again, links for that will be in the video description. And we'll do our best to try and figure out what your problem is with your system. So that pretty much wraps things up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the next DDU. Thanks for watching.